Hey Bulldogs, Matt Wyatt here. Let's talk about your linebacker, Errol Thompson, in this film study. This video is sponsored by Renaissance Bank, the best bank in the South. Check them out at renaissancenation.com. Errol Thompson, number 40, right in the middle of your defense, kind of your quarterback, your defense last year, was number one defense in the country, and he's back for his junior season. From Florence High School in Alabama, and the kid will absolutely hit you. And I remember seeing that on his high school highlight tape whenever he signed with Mississippi State, and he's certainly lived up to that expectation at State, but he does so many things well. So let's look at this. The way a linebacker can affect the game at three different levels of the field. One is stepping up into the line of scrimmage. Another would be dropping in pass coverage. And in another way is you got to run sideline to sideline all on one play to the next. Let's start with the line of scrimmage. Here you go in a 4-3, lined up over the ball. They're going to dive this right at you. little cross action, but he steps in there and makes the play. There he is. You see the lineman. Now, two things. Number one, you got a first-round draft pick right here who's occupying two linemen. But without question, their job is to combo up to this linebacker, and you're going to try to do the same thing back here on the backside too, but you have a guy stepping through to try to help. Plenty of blockers. Somebody on that offensive line did not do their job in getting up to the linebacker. But just like on this side of the ball, quarterbacks, for instance, have to make you pay for mistakes. The quarterback of the defense has to make you pay for mistakes as well. So right here, ball's coming here. Now, whether, again, it's a lineman who can't get free of Simmons, which they're double-teaming, he's occupying two, or if he's supposed to come here and winds up going wide. Regardless, somebody's supposed to block Errol Thompson on this play. But like you should do, if they make a mistake, you make them pay. And this is SEC linebacker. You want to play it? Step in the hole, and it's one-on-one -on -one Oklahoma drill with a running back. And as an SEC starting middle linebacker, you must win this matchup every time just like that. Sometimes it's also about taking on linemen who are much bigger than you. Here's where he stands a lineman up and makes a play on the running back. So he's stepping into the line of scrimmage. And again, he's making these calls so he knows what you have right here is a situation where there are five linemen, a six with the tight end, versus six in the box. And usually, um, with any kind of tight end formation, even in single back, you get a six-man box. It's a running formation. You're probably expecting run. Now, you do have the safety walking down there, so it may give you a numbers uh, edge here. But looks to me on second and eight, you're expecting run this formation with what you're giving them. So he knows that already. And now, after the snap... This is one-on-one -on -one football. This is center, who's probably got him by, you know, what, 60 pounds, and is bigger, versus linebacker. If you notice, he's not looking at the center. He's seeing the handoff happen. So you got to see and take on blockers at the same time if you want to play linebacker. And that, to me, is a key that makes him good. He does not wait on the contact. He doesn't try to stand him up and keep his arms extended He's going in face first. I'm going to knock this guy off his balance. I'm going to force the issue so that I can make the play. And that's what he does. That's a kid that's 6'2", 230 pounds, standing up a starting offensive lineman and then making the play on the running back while he's engaged with the lineman. Talk about affecting the pocket. It's not always about hitting the quarterback. Watch him here drive the running back into his lap. And because of that, you get an incompletion. Now, that pocket is kind of collapsing on the edges, but anybody will tell you that pressure on the edge is one thing. A quarterback's always going to step up and feel okay if he can step up away from it. Pressure in his face and in his lap is what's always going to get a QB. Watch this. Right here, he's coming as a part of the pass rush, and the back's job is to pick him up. And again, if you want to be an SEC linebacker, you must win this physical battle every time. You have to win against the running back. Boom. Knocks him on his heels immediately. Wins it immediately. And now he's going to shove him into the lap of the QB. You can see, as it is right now, yeah, there's some pressure coming. But quarterbacks are used to that. He's just going to step up and not pay attention and make the throw. But he can't. And now you notice that? His eyes are downfield as a QB until the running back is now in his lap inside pressure. 
And then his arm came off the football. He stuck his hand out and extended it to hold the running back away from him. And now he's pulling the ball down. So this didn't really break down until Thompson drove the running back right into his feet. And that's what causes the incomplete. Linebackers got to affect the pocket, affect the quarterback sometimes, and create for teammates. And that's what he's able to do here on a pass situation, get free, just plow into the QB, get another underthrow, and it's an interception for a teammate. We'll look at a couple different angles on it. But again, you talk about a team game. Uh, look at the situation here. You've got five offensive linemen. Do we have that right? Let's count them up. Yeah, you got five offensive linemen. Six with a tight end, seven with a back. So seven blockers in this protection versus potentially only six. They've got plenty of blockers against um, who you have in the box. So then you run the play. Your defensive end here, who was a draft pick, Gary Green, is drawing attention, getting a double team. So the back is going to help because he had made the play before on a quarterback. Jeffrey Simmons drawing attention. He's got two blockers. So because of the late blitz here and that clear out, nobody's going to pick him up. And he gets there. Affect the pocket, affect the quarterback, and it creates for teammates. So it's another example of a linebacker playing at every level of the defense. And when you get there, deliver the hit. Now, what about when and you're not stepping up right on the center of the guard, hitting a running back? What about you got to run to sideline, sideline? That's another thing that Thompson does really well. Got to play sideline to sideline. Lined up over the ball on the right hash, the formation into the boundary. And now they screen you out there and go out there with what are some pretty bad intentions, right? So play full speed, number one. And then number two, when you get there, throw your body around. Watch him track it down. Because of the action of the back, his first uh, first two steps are here. Now the ball is going to come out here on this screen. And then it's smart enough to take the right angle. Where am I going to intersect this guy when I get there? I got to knock people down. And that's what he does. Throw your body around and hit somebody. And the third part of this be pass coverage. So he's made plays. He's not only, you know, made interceptions, but he's affected the pocket and caused interceptions to happen. And just generally does a good job in pass coverage because, yes, he's good enough, athletic enough, but because he's in the right place within the scheme of the defense. He's doing all the little things he's supposed to do right that add up to make a huge difference. Here's some examples. All right, here's a goal line situation. He's lined up in the middle over the ball. They play action in his face, and then he drops in the passing lane. And when he dropped in that passing lane in the slant, it took it away and blew their play up. Let me show you what I mean by that. Again, you go back, you see where he is, and you know essentially over the ball, but just to the, to the field side. He's going to get a play action right in his face to try to draw him up. But this is an exam example of a guy who's doing what he's supposed to do within the scheme of the defense and not getting out of his lane. So even though that fake is happening, he takes one step. He's been playing the run all day long, sees it, and now he's going to plant that foot and get back in that pass coverage responsibility. He's dropping in the throwing lane because nobody else in the middle of the field as a defender and you're singling up against this receiver with a safety on his outside shoulder. So safety's on the outside shoulder, and you're going to drop in the middle and try to take that away and bracket the inside. Their intention the whole way was to hit that slant and play fake back here and draw the linebacker up to clear the throwing lane. But he didn't go for it. So one step, and now he's going to drop and take away the slant, which is the whole play is designed to go there. Quarterback holding the ball. If he's up here and had gotten sucked in on a run fake or out of position, the ball's already gone. He got a chance for a TD right here, and the safety would try to have to have to try to get through to make a play. An example of a linebacker doing the little things within the scheme of the defense, doing his job, and those little things can add up to huge things where you get an incompletion and they ultimately got to stop. Here he is lined up in a zone pass scheme here, middle linebacker. They're going to run out with the uh, or get out of there with the slot. And on the outside, it's an old-fashioned curl route, and a back's running a flat out of the backfield. It's flat curl, and they're trying to high-low a defender out here and read him. So what does the linebacker do? First thing again, responsibility within the scheme of the defense. Going to drop into his lane in the middle of the field. Quarterback gets hit. He's trying to get the ball back here to the curl route off the screen. Ball flutters and falls short. Now watch your middle linebacker make a uh, diving catch. 
It's just an outstanding play. You're not going to see too many guys, linebackers, those big shoulder pads and gloves on, make a diving interception like that one. So athleticism, make a play you're not necessarily supposed to. Fourth quarter, fourth down, one score ball game. You're on the goal line. Watch him drop in the passing lane and make a play. Again, it's fundamentally sound responsibility football. Yeah, he's athletic enough to make some plays and run around, but he is operating within the scheme, trusting teammates doing his job. Again, watch him drop. Again, in this zone, you got enough space. You're outside the 10, so the two safeties are back in the end zone. His job is to be deep, middle, kind of there, you know, just a spy, if you will, in the middle of the field, drop in that end zone. Quarterback never sees him. All right, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, let me know about it. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I am Radio Wyatt. And also, follow me there on Facebook, facebook.com slash Radio Wyatt. And if you're here on YouTube watching this, click the bell, okay? Uh, subscribe, but click that bell so you get notifications anytime we post a new video. And with football season getting closer and closer, and then the season will be here soon, lots of videos coming your way every week, and you'll get notifications of those. So click that bell. Again, thanks to Renaissance Bank for sponsoring these videos. The best bank in the South. Check them out at renaissancenation.com. Can't say thanks enough to them as well. Let them know I sent you. All right, see you next time.